My name is Gina Schaefer. I am the owner of seven Ace Hardware stores in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. I was working for a biotech company in Northern Virginia and was about to get laid off for probably the second time actually during the whole tech bust era and I came home from work one day and decided that I was no longer going to commute and I wasn't going to work for a man and my husband said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to open a hardware store. And uh, nine months later we did. Um, well, the first store was funny. So it's two stories. It was in a gentrifying neighborhood in Washington, D.C. and it is 20, roughly 21 feet wide. 100 feet deep and it's three levels with no elevator. So I, not knowing anything about hardware or even retailing actually at that point, thought this is a cute little spot, it's going to be huge in this neighborhood, which it is, it's a staple in the neighborhood now, which is great. Um, once we opened that store, people started coming in from other neighborhoods asking us to open in their neighborhood, which was really flattering. So um, I was actually playing cashier one day at the first location when I still managed it, and somebody walked in and said, hey, this guy owns 8,000 square feet, and uh, he needs a tenant. Would you be interested? And we looked at it, and the second store was pretty much born that day. We haven't had a challenge after probably the second year balancing work and personal. Certainly the first year, the first two, we were really learning, we, my husband and I, learning everything there was to know about hardware and retailing in the communities. And we opened the second store, and once we opened the second store, we moved out of the management role. We um, put managers in place for both stores who had previously been sales associates at that first location, which is how we've grown. We've always taken um, a prior associate, made them an assistant manager, and then made them a manager. And they really own the stores. They get to know the communities, they participate in the fundraisers, they do all the hiring and firing. So I think the balance for me right now is to figure out how, one, to keep growing, um, two, to keep everyone really happy, and three, just to keep up with the changing times and make sure that we're really relevant in, in urban markets. Well, you know, I tell my female staff members that they should always strive to improve what they're doing every day, regardless of whether or not they want to stay in the home improvement industry. So there's so much we can learn working in even just a small hardware store that you can take on um, throughout your life. I mean, um, we learn about customer service and interaction and communication and confidence, um, being more articulate. But there's just so much you can learn that you shouldn't really focus on it being the home improvement industry. You should focus it on, wow, this is a great business to be in because I can learn so much being here that touches all kinds of life. I think the biggest lesson um, we learned immediately was you have to trust the people that you work with. You have to find people who can do what you can't do. Um, I'm not a financial guru and I never pretend to be. Um, so I found somebody who was. And don't be afraid to really trust the people who you put in particular roles. My, a manager that owns a store, the manager at the store owns the store. I mean, he runs the show. 